remember when, like in the like 2005 to 2010 time frame, every cook that went to culinary school for 20 minutes wanted to talk about the Maya reaction. That's really, that's like what they're trying to talk about. Well, I feel like I talk about it a lot writing for America's Test Kitchen now because yeah. it, it comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, it really is what makes food so delicious. It, that's how I describe it. No, it hands down it is. <laughs> and that's the thing to me is that like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's hard to talk about it without sounding like pretentious and wanna be it. Right. However, it is it what is makes what food it great. Is. <laughs> it's a fancy French word for we made it good. That's exactly it. And to me it's like I have people that work for me who I try to explain. Like you're born I don't know if you're born with it. Maybe you can be trained into it, but like to me, like that color on that cauliflower is in your heart. Like either either you possess in your heart the desire to get to that point or you will stop one degree short of that and it will be okay and it's like there's you this beauty the right there's this beauty in like going right to the point of no return and stopping dead and then food's be brilliant it's it's true about tomato sauce it's true about burger it's true about steaks it's true about roasted cauliflower even obviously different totally different chemistry but even like the creaminess of the stuff that's in there mm -hmm. it's like too much further and it'd be sloppy. Mm -hmm. But right there, it's like, there's it's explosion. It's so impressive how it holds together. It's crazy. Like, this is like a big sandwich. There's a lot going on. It's very moist. Yeah. And it's like, it's like holding its structure. It's crazy, <laughs> I know. That's the thing is like,